officially August 13th. I haven't even started this vlog yet. Hello everyone. My name is Jen. You guys can call me Jen. Welcome to my channel or welcome, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Hi, hello. We're diving into part four of editing A Little Luck, my friends. A Little Luck is my cozy sapphic fantasy that's coming out October 19th. Past me, the bitch allocated three days to get through three parts of my book which is not enough time because as so far it's taken me three fucking days to get through part three i it is sunday today and my deadline for myself to have this draft finished is wednesday this week is the 16th so i today have to finish part fucking three i <laughs> swear to god so my book, if you didn't know, if you haven't read A Second Story, which is the first book in this series, it's a companion series. You can read them out of order or in order, it doesn't matter. They each of the stories stand alone. I have three chapters left of part three to go through. Last night, it took me four fucking hours. I was up till 3 a.m. trying to finish part three. And it took me, because I got home from my friend's housewarming at like 10.30 and I started working at 11, started editing, because my brain works better at night. That's just how it does. I wasn't too like worried about having like a Saturday evening off because so I was like, okay, that's fine. I have like, I'll just work on it when I get home. But yeah, so started at 11, worked until three, and I got only three chapters done because I had to basically write from fresh one and a half chapters. I am now sitting at 92,933 words for this draft. I was sitting at 87,000 yesterday, but because of those two new scenes, the, the entirely new chapter, and then the one that's basically new rewritten, now the word count is out of hand. So I'm gonna keep going. And I'm gonna finish these three chapters of part three today, which are like, I'm gonna have to go back over chapter 25 and then go 26, 27, 28, because 25 is a big moment. It's a very dramatic moment. And last night when I was reading it, I didn't really love the way that it was going, which is a little concerning because this book comes out in fucking October 19th, which is so close. And I have to have this book ready, signed, sealed, delivered to my proofreader by September 15th. So I have exactly a month now pretty much a month and two days, if you will, to get this done. But done to the point of like, I need draft three done by Wednesday so that I can then start the line edits and reread this thing like four times between now and September 15th so that it is as polished as if I was gonna hit publish because then the proofreader can catch anything I've missed because that's what I'm paying her for. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna pay her for. Anyways. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. I I have to get so much done in the next three days because today's Sunday. I have Monday, Tuesday, and then I guess I also have Wednesday to finish this. But Wednesday's my deadline. Yep. Okay, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. It's Sunday. I have a, I definitely have a few hours before I have to do anything else. It's it's noon, so let's see how much I can get done before I have to go to like my parents for dinner or something. I don't know. I'm stressed. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I sound awful. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Hi. No, I do know what day it is. It's Tuesday the 15th because today I launched the official A Little Luck cover. I sound like this because it's incredibly smoky outside right now from the fires. I feel like I have a, a cold with like the amount of congestion that's going on in here right now. Anyways, <laughs> I wanted to pop it because I have been working on a little luck and I haven't done an update in a little while. I just finished chapter 39, which was absolutely heartbreaking to write and to go back over because it's just, it's, it's a chapter. Oh, it gets to me every time. I'm officially into part five now, but I do have one chapter that I need to go and write in part four, but I have had the hardest time concentrating these past few days, today especially, because I feel just physically so ill. 
I don't know whether it's from the fire or from something else, but I feel disgusting. And my brain is just refusing to want to write anything. Did that clear it up? Oh, a little bit, okay. But yeah, so I'm a little bit into part five now. We're, we're cruising right along. <laughs> what other updates do I have? I'm gonna go over, over to my calendar and my checklist. Let's, let's see. All right, so out of all this, we've got that done, which is the new plotline implement. It's pretty much done. There's only a couple scenes left to go over, so I'm gonna cross it off anyway. I have done the ARC sign-up form. I've also uploaded to Goodreads and Storygraph. You can add it to your Goodreads and Storygraph now. I've also done the cover reveal that was today. I've also done the chapter headers and part images. That's really exciting. This is starting to fill out a little more. I think what I would like to do in the next couple days, other than actually finishing this up, that's gonna be my focus. Tomorrow, technically, is my deadline. So I do have to finish that <laughs> this in the next couple days. I'm going to do a little bit more of the admin-y stuff where like, I reach out to the people from uh, Second Stories ARC requests who said they wanted to be part of the ARC team to see if they're still wanting to be part of the ARC team and want to read this one. I want to also start formatting the book after I do the word edit, which is always a fun edit to do. It takes me so long, it's not fun at all. I hate doing the word edit. It's mainly just me putting it through words so that I can find all of the Canadian spellings. <laughs> and turned them into American because Scrivener is set to Canadian, I think, and it doesn't really catch a lot of typos. And I should also set up my self club spreadsheet and do like the glossary and character list and do the map changes and stuff, like the little things that I can kind of get done and work on my like acknowledgements and stuff. But let's look at my calendar. Okay, so part three and four are technically done. So it's just part five and finishing it that need to be done for the draft three deadline, but we are currently right here. <laughs> We're in the second extra day. So if I can get it done today, tomorrow, and it's not gonna be today, t tomorrow for sure, I will be so happy and then I'll have a break on Thursday to just do content and read and do a whole bunch of stuff. And then my line edits start on Friday and I'm gonna just try and blow through them. I've given myself two days for each part, for each of the line, for all the line edits. And then another break and then read book again and format it and stuff. But I think the formatting is gonna come up in here as I do line edits. Cause I think I'm gonna kind of consolidate a lot of the editing and line edits and stuff into the edit that I do once I format the book and then put it into like Kindle and stuff and, and read it that way. Once I'm done at least one, one read through, I will send out the arcs, but I think the arcs are gonna be sent out September 4th to 8th. But as so far, are we still, we're still, on horse. We're still on deadline as of the extra day. Thank God for these extra days, because past Jenna thought that these three days were gonna be enough to finish part three, four, and five, because she forgot that it takes a long ass time to do these edits, because you're writing, like I was writing brand new scenes as well, and I also had my friend's housewarming and then book club this day, but that's how the schedule's looking, my friends. Everything is going. I am officially, am I officially done the part headers? I'm done definitely the part images on Procreate, and I've done four chapter headers, and I'm still going back and forth between if I wanna do a fifth chapter header because I had five chapter headers in a second story, but we'll see. As of right now, those are all done and ready to go. Slowly, we could start eliminating the giant checklist. It's not looking as bad now. There's a lot of purple in there. <laughs> Anyways, my friends, that's the update. I'm taking a little break and I'm gonna have some ice cream to see if that helps my throat. And then I'm gonna go back and do a little bit more editing for the night before I call it, because I feel like I should just <laughs> go to bed. I was about to say I'm trying to do this without burning out, but I can feel it. I can feel the way that my brain has been all day today. Like it feels like it did when I was in university finishing up a, like my papers. Not as bad as that, because I was in a really terrible place when I was doing my university stuff, but it has the flavor of like, my brain feels overextended. It's all, it's all on me. I have the time. I have about, no, I have exactly a month until this is due into my proofreader. So once we hit, once we finish this rewrite, I will feel a lot better because once the rewrite is done, it's just line editing and polishing and making it pretty, which is just going over it a million times in different formats, as you guys know. Reading it out loud, my favorite thing to do. My air just kicked into higher gear. I do apologize for the noise. We'll catch up with you guys when I have another update and I don't sound like this. <laughs> August 16th. 
Today's deadline day. It is 10 to seven in the evening. I have been stress scrolling. I feel kind of gross and awful. Not as bad as I did yesterday. I think my body's trying to take me out. Deadline day, so let's get this motherfucking draft done. Let's do it. A few moments later. I have four chapters left. I have chapter 43, 44, 45, 46, and then the epilogue. So I have five, I guess, but I'm part way through the first one. So like four and a half. This is when I get excited about being so close to done. It's six minutes to 11 p.m. Can I do this in the next hour and a half? Or like two hours? So that I'm done by like 1 a.m.? That would be perfect. Let's see, because I have to go and rewrite. Not this scene particularly. This scene's a little bit interesting. Uh, the next one. The next one. <laughs> the next one's going to be rewritten entirely, so. Yep, okay. We're almost done. <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, the draft is done. We hit the deadline. Draft three is done. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Oh my God, here we go. We're sticking to deadlines, my friends. Oh, so pleased. Oh my God, my soundscape is still on. I do apologize for the crackling fire in the background. Let me stop that. <laughs> wow. All right, my friends. So after all of that, after implementing an entirely new storyline, after pinching and shrinking and moving things around, this draft is sitting at 91,037 words. Draft two, 89,958 words. So after all of that, I've added only maybe a thousand words, 1,100 words. I am so happy with that. We're settling with it there. There are 46 chapters and an epilogue. There's going to be a glossary, a character list, and acknowledgements. As always, the map in the front, the two maps in the front. But all of that I'll work on in a couple days. <laughs> because now I'm going to take a break for a day. It's officially my break day. I'm so pleased with myself. Oh my god. Hit save. Closed. Signed, sealed, delivered. Close the binder. Third round of edits is done. And I think I'm pleased with this. I think I'm pleased with this. I am looking forward to reading it over again, just to make sure that I'm very pleased with it. I'm, I'm pleased with where the story is at. There's nothing else that I wanna change story-wise. I just need to make sure that it flows exactly how I want it to. And that's what the line edit's gonna be. It's gonna be me checking, make sure that it's right. I'm thinking, I think I said before that I was gonna format the book now. I think what I'm going to do is when I come back to this, probably Friday or Saturday, I'm going to start doing the word edit bit by bit, throwing it through Word, really combing through it. And then that's how I'm gonna do my line edits as I comb through. And then as I'm going through it, I'm gonna slowly start transferring it into Atticus, doing another Another line edit that way and having it that way because I need to do my line edit in Word one because I need to do the Word edit anyways and that's what I'm going to be handing to my proofreader the Word doc. Now it's just a matter of reading it over and over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> I'm so pleased with myself hitting deadline exceptional. We love to see it. Yes, it's technically the 17th because it's 1 a.m. But I don't care. It is in, it is the 16th in my head and we did it. So I need to plug this in. I'm gonna go cross off things on my list. Let's do that. All right, let's see here. Let's put you like this. I'll bring this nice and close. Can you see it? No, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, part four rewrite, done. Part five rewrite, done. Draft three, done. <laughs> what else can I do? Good read story graph is done, send of arc request. Need to do that still. Read out loud, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm so pleased. All right. To the bad boy in the corner. Part three and four is done. Part five, done. Draft three, deadline, done. So now we have a break lined up. I'm gonna do some reading. It's gonna be amazing. And this weekend the line edits begin. My head, we're like halfway there, but I don't think we are. We're more of like a third of the way there because now it's all the little things need to be done, right? Like I need to do more admin stuff with like the arcs and the self-pub spreadsheet and formatting the book and all that kind of stuff. And like the glossary and the character list and the map changes, all that stuff. 
acknowledgements, more admin stuff than actual creative work. Once we get into line edits, things are gonna be more interesting. And of course, it's just gonna be reading this over and over and over again. I'm determined to give my proofreader the most polished version of this book I can, because then what she gives me back as edits, I can implement, do one last read through myself in September, and then submit it in for pre-orders, and hopefully everything will be caught. <sighs> That's, that's the goal. Everything will be caught and ready by then. Yeah, now it's just making the story extra pretty, extra shiny, if you will. Making sure everything is exactly what I wanted to say. All the feelings are there. All the words are right. Mm. Pleased. I might have a celebratory bit of ice cream, even though it is 1 a.m. Because I've been craving it all night. And I've been like, okay, you can have ice cream when you're done this edit. And it's now 1 a.m. and I'm done it. But draft three is done. Hello, friends. It's been a little while, but I'm back and better than ever, my lovely friends. Oh my God, the stress has like left my body. As I'm getting ready for my live stream in like four minutes now, I wanted to chat with y'all because we're back. We're back into the editing groove, slowly but surely. <laughs> it is officially the 19th today. Last night, I decided to start in on my line edits. Decided and also, you know, just, you know, did because it was Friday and I was supposed to. So <laughs> it was in my calendar that I was supposed to start it again. So I started with my line edits and I got the brilliant idea because you guys know I love reading stuff out loud. It is one of my favorite things, especially when I'm editing. I gotta read my shit out loud because that's how I catch things. What I ended up doing is I I remembered in a recent vlog that I did, or not a vlog, in a recent TikTok video that I did for an editing update, someone came into the comments and was like, hey, great recommendation, but if you use Speechify, you can like have it read out to you. And I was like, hell yeah, that's such a great idea. And I knew also of naturalreaders.com. There's another one called like that kind of a thing. It's basically just AI that reads shit to you. It reads your stuff to you. But I tried both of those platforms and I got really into the natural readers one, but there's a five minute cap and then you have to pay for it, which I'm so mad about. And I just didn't like the Speechify system very much because it just, it, did, it just didn't work for me for some fucking reason. So I was like, that's fine. Let me read this myself out loud. So I got into that and I kept going through, working basically just on part one. I ended up getting to a point where my voice was really tired, but I didn't want to stop editing because I wanted to keep formatting as well. Because as I was going through it, every chapter that I did, I was taking it from Scrivener and I was formatting it into a Word doc because I was going to do my Word edit, as you guys know. So my word edit is this edit that I do because I'm Canadian and I forget that a lot of things are Canadian spellings and I don't realize that they are. Like, did you know that Traveler and Fueled and Reveled all have one L in American? So stupid, it needs two Ls. It doesn't make sense if there's not two Ls. It looks so unbalanced. Also the word odor, O-D-O-R in American. What the hell's that? Where's the U? It needs the U. The word looks so itty bitty without the U. <laughs> Things like that. I needed to catch in word. So I was going chapter by chapter to make sure that it was actually catching the things. Cause I know if you do like a whole document at once, sometimes word doesn't catch everything. So I was doing that, reading it out loud at the same time, then taking it from word and putting it into Atticus chapter by chapter and getting that process started. So once I had the whole thing, right, like the whole part one, just part one in Atticus, I exported it into an EPUB and I put it on my Kindle on my phone because on my phone, there is an option with accessibility in Kindle where you can have something reading it to you. And the voice is actually quite nice because you can match it to whatever your series voice is. I have the British man as my Siri because I don't like the woman, the American woman, her voice annoys me. So I was just listening to it last night, top to bottom, all of part one, listening to it read to me and I was making notes on my Kindle in my phone where like things needed to change if there was extra words because I didn't catch those words as I was reading it over and sometimes the sentence made absolutely no sense and I was listening to it and I was like, what the hell did I even mean here? That's what I did last night. So part one is done <laughs> and I'm gonna move on to part two. My live stream is technically started, so we're gonna dive in. <laughs> But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna implement those edits from my Kindle into my document and it, I, I guess into Atticus and into the document, so two places. And then we're gonna start on part two to get that rolling so that I can listen to it and do the edit again that way. Line edits this time are gonna be so spicy, wonderful, my friends. I think this is the way that I'm gonna go forward from now on is having something read it to me as I'm reading it physically with my eyes so that I can hear it as well. Cause y'all know, auditory, it's wonderful. Anyways, I gotta get into my live stream. I'll catch you guys a little later.
Hello my lovely friends and welcome to the end of this vlog. It is officially the end of part four of editing a little luck. I have not talked to you in a long time, but it is officially August 31st. And I can officially say I'm pretty much done. <laughs> I don't want to like officially say that I'm done done, you know? I still have my like the thing that I was doing with like transferring stuff to my Kindle and then having it read it out loud to me, I still have to do that for part four and part five. But what I ended up doing was just line editing through Word part four and part five and finishing all the odds and ends. So I did the map changes. I did my acknowledgements. I did an author's note. There's an author's note in this one. I've done the dedication. I have done the character list and the glossary in the back. I formatted Kier's song in the back. It's all there. It's all done. It's formatted. That I did at the same time as the word edit. So that's like, I got to check off so many things. And it was so satisfying. I, oh, I think there's only like one thing left on the list, one or two things. One of them is to reread the book, which I have not yet like checked off fully because once I do that last little line, the listening edit for part four and part five, and I implement those edits in, I'm gonna do an, a listening edit from top to bottom for a little luck. And that's gonna be like my next edit between now and when I hand it to my proofreader. Because I think this way of, of reading, because I know like auditory reading for me, like having an audiobook in my ear and looking at the page is like double focused for me. And it has been since in university, since I picked up that style of, of reading when I was reading classics. I think that's what I'm gonna do as my next edit through and just get it to a point where I feel like I can send it to my proofreader on September 16th, on the 16th, 15th, whenever I send it to her. <laughs> halfway through the month. So I'm feeling very good about this. I even actually today, I since I have the front cover for A Little Luck done, I decided to just DIY a cover on the Amazon cover creator thing because my, my cover artist right now is currently going through a move. So she's not gonna be able to get me the full spread until mid September, which I'm totally fine with. Like I've, I don't care. The full spread is, is something that I need for like actual publication in October. So we've got so much time, but I decided I want a proof of it, <laughs> physical proof to do that auditory edit with. So I jimmied up a cover in the like KDP cover creator with the A Little Luck actual image as the cover. Just did on the spine, A Little Luck arc, like, you know, through, through the summary I have for the back of the book on the back of the book it, it looks terrible it's not very done very well but like i just want a proof of this so that i can go through and edit it by hand and read it physically because i found that with a, a second story when i was leafing through it physically is when i was finding the errors so i think that'll be my next edit once that proof comes in i just ordered that today and the next the next vlog will be probably not for a little while it's probably gonna be like the finishing touches and then getting it back from the proofreader and then sending it to official publication and hitting publish this editing style has worked so well for me for this book what have i learned over these last couple months. I work incredibly well under pressure and this was just a re-upping of that knowledge because I I didn't need to rush so damn hard in August to get the like rewrite done because the line edits have not taken me so long. And honestly, I could hand this to my proofreader tomorrow, even though I've asked for the extension. Tomorrow was my original day I was gonna hand it to her, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna take the extra time to really polish and really get it to the peak of my abilities to then send it to her. I keep having this thought in my mind though, like I don't need a proofreader. <laughs> because of the way that I'm doing this edit, I'm convincing myself that I've caught everything, which is so funny because that's the same thing that I felt with a second story. And then once I hit publish, there was, there was still typos, there was still stuff wrong with it. So this time we're gonna go with the proofreader, but I think depending on how that goes, depending if she hands it back and is like, man, I couldn't find anything at all. I'm not gonna use an editor or proofreader with the next book. It's just gonna be me. So we're just slowly cutting down on costs. <laughs> Speaking of costs, I've also set up my self-publishing Excel spreadsheet which is very fun and scary to look at your breakdown of, of numbers. I've known my breakdown of numbers for a second story because I did do that video 
in, in May of, of the breakdown of my publishing journey. So I did break it down and it was about $1,700 in the red, but seeing the slow progression of making money off of this book coming back, it's kind of nice too. And like seeing how many numbers and units I've sold so far is really nice. Having all that data in one spot is extremely nice as well. I have also, which wasn't on my checklist, I have gone through and grabbed all of the receipts from my spending and put it all in one folder so that when tax season comes, I can just print it all off and like claim it all as business expenses, have that all in one spot ready to go. I'm very happy with my spreadsheets. I'm not an Excel whiz, so it took me hours to pull together, but I'm proud of what it is. I did the acknowledgements. I did, oh God, I've done all of the things. And I'm really happy this time there is a author's note at the beginning of the book, as I mentioned. The author's note is content warnings, author's note, just in case. And at the back of the book on like the about the author page, there is a QR code for a playlist in the book. And I need to I need to still put the link in the ebook because QR codes are a little weird when they're in ebook form. I was trying to scan it at work the other day because I had to go into the actual office and I was like, I wonder if this QR code like works and I couldn't figure out how to scan it as like on the screen of my phone. So I need to add like the link into the QR code so that people can just click it and, and go to the play playlist because there's going to be a playlist for this book included, released when the book is also released. So I'm really excited about that. I've been working on that and curating that as well, which has just been such a pleasure to do because it's been the playlist that I've had in my ears the entire time I've edited this book. But I think what's really been special is that I've done a lot of work with the flow of the playlist. So if you play it on regular, like not shuffle, it should flow pretty well, even though it's including both like classical music, no word music and like modern day songs. So hopefully it works and goes over pretty well. <laughs> what else can I say? Arc form is out, people are responding. I'm going to probably row the arcs at people tomorrow or this coming week because they're basically ready. I have the EPUB loaded into book funnel, ready to go. I also applied to, cause you know, like some book boxes will take indie books and it's like, it, it's it's a low-key dream of mine to have one of my books in a book box so i've applied to fox and wit with a little luck to see if they'll if they're interested in it interested in taking it which could be fun I, and it does say on their thing that like sometimes they don't answer for like six months so we'll see and there is one also that i applied to for a second story i cannot remember which i think it was caffeine and curses that box i can't I've applied to that one with a second story and haven't heard anything back. So maybe one day my books will be in a book box. But yeah, I, I did the, the e-arc specifically so that I could apply for that book box because they ask for like a galley of it. That's there. All of the chapter headers are done. The part images are done. Everything is done. Proof is on its way to me. I just need to finish the last little bits of line editing. And man, the stress level difference from the beginning of this video to now, unreal. Like as soon as I finished draft three that third pass through of edits it was like i woke up and i was like oh i didn't need to be that stressed because now i have like two weeks until the end of august and then another two weeks before i have to hand this over to anything and the line edits are going so smoothly and so quickly because line edits are what i do for my job every day right that's that's what i do basically for editing articles at work it is different obviously because line editing an article is different than line editing fiction but same vibe, it's sentence level, it's making the sentence make sense grammatically and pretty and like making, you know, making it flow. Did the word edit, the line edit, and the formatting <laughs> all at once was just such a smart idea on my part and working part by part and doing it like part one, line edit, word edit, format it, and then listen to it on my Kindle, implement the edits, move to part two. That like churning wheel just worked so well. So now I need to finish that with part four and part five, listening to and coast into the next edit. But that'll be, I guess, for the next vlog, whenever that starts, but. Quick little update at the end of this video. It is officially September 15th today and my book, A Little Luck, is off with the proofreader. 
So I didn't end up starting another vlog, so there probably won't be another editing vlog for A Little Luck because the proof reader was the last step. It's that, and then a final pass through edit of mine, and then off to press it goes, I guess. <laughs> so A Little Luck is off to the proof reader. And I did also get an arc. I don't know if I included that in this video or not, but I got an arc of A Little Luck. So I'm very excited to have this in my hands and to hold it officially for my ladies coming out so soon in pretty much a month, a month and like four days. I don't know how we got here either. I'm so excited, but yes, back to it. But yes, it's off to the proofreader. Yes, my friends, I wanted to officially finish this vlog out. Ebooks are available for pre-order now. I will let you know probably early October when the paperback pre-orders go live. You can add it to Storygraph and Goodreads. And if you want to be an ARC reader, I don't know if the form is still open, but it probably is. <laughs> it's in my link tree. If you can find that, you can apply to be an ARC reader if you want. But yes, my friends, that's it for me. I really hope you're all doing well and I hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you in another video very, very soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.